Hey everyone, it is me, Dead Voice McGee, yet again. <laughs> I thought I would make a better recovery, but alas, I cannot. So, unfortunately, this is the only video I got going today, which is for the Amazon bitch compilation. So, all the previous Amazon review videos will be put together, and for this less ads for your annoyance sort of bitch. Back, relax, enjoy the madness. So I had some requests to do Amazon review readings and I decided to roll with it. So I picked one that I figured was gonna have some great reviews and I was right. Behold some of the reviews <laughs> for the three wolf moo t-shirt. Currently running the countryside with a pack of wolves after having put on this shirt. We'll review later. Received this shirt just in time for my job interview. After seeing my awesome attire, the interviewing manager offered me his job. Of course, I accepted. I asked what he was going to do now. He said he would like to post for the position that I had came in to interview for. I told him that he was not qualified, but I did wish him well in his future endeavors. Once I apply the magical wolf's fabric to my chest, my mullet grew like Odin's beard. My rusted tea top fiber turned sweet candy apple, and my white snake tape started playing its body moving melodies once again. God, life is good! I bought this shirt as part of my Halloween costume. My best hopes were that it delivered the promise of turning me into a wolf. If not, I figured I still have a bitchin' shirt to wear to the Halloween party. Instead, I was transformed into a disappointed golden retriever. On the bright side, I got a bunch of belly rubs from attractive women. And men. Because who can't resist a belly rub? I purchased this shirt recently after reading some amazing reviews about this shirt's summoning magical powers. These reviews weren't kidding around. I wore my three wolf shirt for the first time on August 21st, 2017 and the most amazing thing occurred. My day started off better than most. People were greeting me with smiles and esteem. I thought the magic of the shirt had done its job until around midday, the shirt one-upped itself. It must have summoned the power of the moon and all its glory to upstage the sun. The sky became dark like a sunset the moon covered the sun completely as my shirt was met with the glory of the power it possesses. I took it off soon after because I was afraid its power was too great. I recommend this shirt to anyone wanting to have a well-made t-shirt. This is my second review for this product. I purchased this shirt in 2010. I wore it yesterday. It still fits. It works great. I was wearing it when I bought Bitcoin. So you know I know what I'm doing. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, this one. Okay. Oh, I get my focus. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. <clears throat> You're going to think I'm crazy, but when I opened the box it came in, I actually heard wolves in the far distance. When I actually put the shirt on, the hairs on my arms stood up and I could hear my own heartbeat. I was instantly hungry and ate three steaks, raw. Afterwards, I fell into a deep sleep and was exposed to a crazy fever dream. I could hear war drums and the chants of Native American warriors. They were calling me to come join them, to quench their thirst for blood, to wage war and unleash my animal instincts. I awoke to a massive erection that lasted for days. I haven't put the shirt on since. It's in a box. That's inside of a box. That's inside of a box. That's inside of a closet. That's inside of a room. That's inside of a basement. That's inside of a house. That's inside of a neighborhood that I don't visit anymore. I can still hear it calling to me. Only buy this shirt if you think you can handle it. Oh my god, like this shirt. <laughs> Wall shirts! It's this one. It's this one that has these reviews. Ladies and gentlemen, and nons, the review you're about to listen to is not for the faint of heart. 
Listener discretion is advised, especially if you are one who cannot handle the over-detailed and painful amount of human excrement, a.k.a. poop jokes. And here we go. Eat If You Dare by Joshua, a verified purchase of the Haribo Sugar-Free Classic Gummy Bears, one pound. I sit here, writing this review at 4 a.m. from my porcelain throne. A fixture you will become all too familiar with if you chose to eat these cute little bears from the pits of hell. I had to eat a pound of these little bastards after Man City must have thought they were playing American football the other week and lost to a team of Arsenal scrubs. They were a bit chewy, but overall appeared to be nothing more than your average gummy bears. After about two hours, with little more than some mild stomach cramps, feeling like one would expect from eating a pound of any candy, I began to wonder if I'd gotten some duds. Like the slow build-up of a Martin Scorsese film, however, those bears were waiting for their baptism scene to destroy my insides. It started with the cramping. Very akin to doing a thousand crunches and then being forced to hold the thousand and first crunch indefinitely. Then came the initial run, which opened the proverbial floodgates. I'm over 30, and I'm beginning to wonder if these bears know that and want to send me back to the can for each year I've been on this earth to make me wonder why I'd ever been born. In between gastrointestinal bouts of pressure washing the inside of my toilet from my anus, I lay in bed feeling as if someone were to punch me in the stomach. I'd explode, turning the walls of my bedroom into a soiled Jackson Pollock rendition. To give you an idea, I'd spend $50 ordering a UFC pay-per-view only to willingly miss the last two to three fights on the main card because I didn't want to stray too far from my master bathroom. Thankfully for me, and my marriage, fearing what might be coming, I convinced my wife to spend the evening at my sister-in-law's, because trust me, fellas, nothing will be gained from your significant other experiencing this with you. I am no longer in pain, but I'm still having to make trips back to my master bath on a regular basis. Eat these if you dare, but be forewarned. They are not to be trifled with. Unless you want your toilet to be stagging ground for repeat fecal rehearsals of the Red Wedding from Game of Thrones. 1,125 people found that useful. And they're smart. Don't ever eat these. Ever. Unless you really, really like to poop. Also, before we go, I'd just like to point out the one below this is five-star reviews by Amazon customer, and it just says, help me. So I was trying to figure out why people wanted me to do a reading of the Amazon reviews for Tuscan Dairy Whole Farm D milk. And now I understand why. Because there's one that's magical. It's written by Egger from July 8th of 2008 called Make This Your Only Stock and Store. So I'm going to read it for you today. And it's a long one, so I hope you're ready. Once upon a midday sunny, while I savored nuts and honey, with my Tuscan whole milk, one gal, 128 fluid ounce, I swore. As I went on with my lapping, suddenly there came a tapping, as someone gently rapping, rapping at my icebox door. Bad condenser that, I muttered, vibrating the icebox door. Only this, and nothing more. Not to sound like a complainer, but in an attempt half-gainer, I provoked my bowl to tip and spill its contents on the floor. Stupefied, I came to muddle over that increasing puddle, burgeoning deluge of that which at present I do adore. Snowy, Tuscan wholesomeness exclusively produced offshore, purged here forevermore. And the pool so white and silky Filled me with a sense of milky, ardor of the type fantastic of a loss not known before, so that now, to still the throbbing of my heart while gently sobbing, I retreated, 
heading straightway for the tempting icebox door, heedless of that pitter-patter tapping at the icebox door. I resolved to have some more. Presently, my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. This, said I, requires an extra dram of milk, my favorite pour. To the icebox I aspired, motivated to admire how its avocado pigment contemplated my decor. Then I grasp its wood grain handle. Here I open wide the door. Darkness there, and nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams of many Tuscans I had known before. But the light inside was broken, and the darkness gave no token. And the only words there spoken were my whisper words, no more. Coke and beer, some ketchup I set eyes on, and an apple core. Merely this, and nothing more. Back toward the table turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see then what there it is and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still at the moment and this mystery explore. Tis the wind and nothing more. From the windows came a stirring, then with an incessant purring. Inside stepped a kitten. Mannerlessly did she me ignore. Not the least obedience made she. Not a minute stopped or stayed she. But, but with mien of lord or lady withdrew to my dining floor. Pounced upon the pool of Tuscans spreading over my dining floor. Licked and lapped and supped some more. Then this cat beguiling my sad fancy into smiling. By the grand enthusiasm of the countenance she wore. Toward the mess she showed no pity, till I said, Well, hello, kitty. Sought she me with pretty eyes that seemed to open some rapport. So I pleaded, Tell me, tell me what it is that you implore. Quoth the kitten, Get some more. And now I understand why everybody wanted me to read that. I also love one of the reviews below it. One Star by W. Wright. This is a fine milk, but the product line appears to be limited in available colors. I can only find white. <laughs> oh, Amazon reviews don't ever change. Another one of those, I was sitting here wondering why everybody was asking me to do the reviews for the Samsung UN 85 S9 framed 85 inch 4K Ultra HD 3D Smart LED TV. I looked at the picture of it and thought, that is the dumbest looking TV I've ever seen. And then I read the reviews. They're, they're magical. Let's take a peek. I was gonna find my daughter's wedding in Hawaii, but I figured this Samsung TV would last much longer. Take my advice and shop around, people. I bought a 12-pack of these at Costco and save a hundred grand. Dang, shit, that's... write that down, write that down. This is the best TV out there for watching documentaries about starving children. You can really feel their pain. Watch Twilight on this. Movie still looked terrible. People, be advised. With the Amazon.com Rewards Visa card, you can save $30 off the listed purchase price. $30! Shit, that's a deal. It makes us abused animal commercials with the Sarah McLaughlin music playing so much sadder when the one-eyed pug is four feet tall! This TV is fan-freaking-tastic. We're now living in the box that came in, but even that's pretty roomy and quite comfy. Thank God for the energy star. This baby... Say it's $55 a year. It'll pay for itself in less than a lifetime. I was torn between this and a Dodge Charger until I remembered my $10 Amazon gift card I got for helping my buddy move. I was moments away from purchasing this TV, but once I saw that it was not Prime eligible, I bailed. Oh, oh, deal breaker. I want to use my Prime. The black levels and the color depth on this TV are pretty good for the price. However, the small screen size is a deal breaker. I recommend buying an IMAX theater instead. Mm. 
And finally, this isn't actually an 85 inch glass TV. Technically, it's only 84 and a half inches. Returning this tomorrow. Oh, oh, tell the truth, Samsung. You hide in that extra half inch from your good customers? For God's sakes, a man gave up his daughter's wedding for this TV. You tell him the price. <sighs> well, you can only dodge the reviews for the Hutzler 571 Banana Slicer until it becomes very, very demanded to read the reviews on it. Well, here we go. Works perfectly for all my right curve bananas. Highly recommend. Hoping they come down with a left curve cutter next. Think about that one again, Danielle. But slowly. I can't believe this slicer is listed as great for cereal. I tried slicing Cheerios, Trix, Corn Flakes, and Chex, and each ended up crummily smashed, not neatly sliced. What's worse, this thing is nigh useless on cream of wit. <laughs> it only works if you have a banana, and um, these are not included. Oh, God, stories. Okay. For decades, I've been trying to come up with an ideal way to slice a banana. Use a knife, they say. Well, my parole officer won't allow me to be around knives. Shoot it with the gun! Um, background check. Hello? I had to resort to carefully attempt to slice those bananas with my bare hands. 99.9% .9 of the time, I would get so frustrated that I just ended up squishing the fruit in my hands and throwing it against the wall in anger. Then, after a fit of banana-induced rage, my parole officer introduced me to this kitchen marvel in my life was changed. No longer consumed by seething anger and animosity towards these thick skinned yellow fruit, I was able to concentrate on my love of theater and am writing a musical play about two lovers from rival gangs that just try to make it in the world. I think I'll call it Southside Story. Banana Slicer, thanks to you, I see greatness on the horizon. What the weird thing is, is... This sounds like a legit review. Oh god, another story. I was sitting on the couch and my doorbell rang. I leapt off the sofa and ran to the door screaming, MY BANANA SLICER! I opened the package and immediately snatched a banana to slice. With that instructions included, I did not realize I had to peel the banana first. It was a gooey mess and I had to grab another. This time I peeled it, but my banana was too small. It didn't fit the whole slicer. I went to Walmart customer service. Do you have any giant bananas? I questioned. The attendant turned away. I think he was laughing. He called for another attendant. They went to the back and brought out the biggest bananas I've ever seen. I went home with the bananas. I peeled the bananas and used the banana slicer. It was so satisfying to cut the bananas. I did it all day and forgot to go to work. I got a call from my boss. You're fired! He screamed onto the phone. I cried. I am no longer Jake from State Farm. I am now just Jake. Warning, even though it looks like a banana, it is not a banana. Fooled me once, won't fool me again. It cuts bananas goodly. I, I, I just... <laughs> I'm still giggling about the review that ended with it being Jake from State Farm. 